Good day everyone, it's Grizzly here, and Peter of course. I'm sure you know me by now. Today and every Thursday I will be bringing you an interesting short story. Most of my stories will have a message, a moral. Today's story is The Three Little Pigs. Do you know this story, Peter? Yes, Grizzly, I have heard it from the top. Yes, it's a great story, and this one was recommended by Teen Sonic the Hedgehog 2021. Thank you, Teen Sonic. The Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, there was an old mother pig who had three little pigs and not enough food to feed them. So when they were old enough, she sent them out into the world to seek their fortune. The first little pig was very lazy. He didn't want to work at all, and he built his house out of straw. The second little pig worked a little bit harder, but he was somewhat lazy too, and he built his house out of stakes. Then they sang and danced and played together for the rest of the day. The third little pig worked hard all day and built his house with bricks. It was a sturdy house, complete with a fine fireplace and a chimney. It looked like it could withstand the strongest of winds. The next day, a wolf happened to pass by the lane where the three little pigs lived. And he saw the straw house, and he smelled the pig inside. He thought the pig would make a mighty fine meal, and his mouth began to water. So he knocked on the door and said, Little pig! Little pig, let me in, let me in. But the little pig saw the wolf's big paws through the keyhole. So he answered back, No, 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 not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Then the wolf showed his teeth and said, Then I'll up and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The wolf opened his jaws very wide it down as hard as he could. But the first little pig escaped and ran away to hide with the second little pig. The wolf continued down the lane and he passed by the second house made of sticks and he saw the house and he smelled the pigs inside. And his mouth began to water as he thought about the fine dinner he would make. So he knocked on the door and said, little pigs, little pigs, let me in, let me in. But the pig saw the wolf's pointy ears through the keel, so they answered back. No, 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 not by the ears on our chinny chin chin. So the wolf showed his teeth and said, Then I'll up and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The wolf was greedy and he tried to catch both pigs at once, but he was too greedy and he got neither. His big jaws clamped down on nothing but hair, and the two little pigs scrambled away as fast as their little fools could carry them. The wolf chased them down the lane and he almost caught them, but they made it to the brick house and slammed the door closed before the wolf could catch them. The three little pigs were very frightened. They knew the wolf wanted to eat them, and that was very, very true. The wolf hadn't eaten all day worked up a large appetite chasing the pigs and now he could smell all three of them inside and he knew that the three little pigs would make a lovely feast so the wolf knocked on the door and said little pigs little pigs let me in let me in but the little pigs saw the wolf's narrow eyes through the keel so they answered back no 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 not by the ears on our chinny chin chin so the wolf showed his teeth and said, Then I'll up and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Well, he huffed and he puffed, he puffed and he huffed, and he huffed and he huffed and he puffed and he puffed, but he could not blow that house down. At last he was so out of breath that he couldn't huff and he couldn't puff anymore. 
So I stopped to rest and thought a bit. But this was too much. The wolf danced about with rage and swore he would come down the chimney and eat up the little pigs for his supper. But while he was climbing onto the roof, the little pig made a blazing fire and put on a big pot full of water to boil. Then, just as the wolf was coming down the chimney, the little pigs pulled off the lid and plop, in fell the wolf into the scalding water. So the little piggy put on the cover again, boiled the wolf up, and the three little pigs ate him for supper. So, you know the moral of the story, Peter? Yes, I do! The moral of the story is that hard work and perseverance pays off in the end. So you like the story then, Pika? Do you agree with the moral? Yes, work hard and work clever. This will usually bring you success. Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's story. If you have a story that you would like me to tell everyone, please leave me a message in the comments. It must have a good moral. So that's it for this week from Peter and me. We will see you on Monday. Grizzly out. Bye.